Welcome back. We're in the kitchen with Hoodoos at Sun Rivers. We have executive chef Darren Bazanson joining us. It's great to have you back on the show. It's great to be back. Well, it's lovely to have you. And Rob LaRock, general manager at Sun Rivers. How are you? All good, thank you. Good. You guys have a whole bunch of stuff going on? Yes. Right now? Uh, yeah. the, the weather's good, at least at this particular second. Exactly. That's good. Yes. As we noticed last night, it can change in a heartbeat. It sure can. Yeah. And change back in a heartbeat, which it did today. Yeah, no, it's great. You know, lots of patio activity over the last little while, finally. Those, uh, those umbrellas haven't got a lot of use in uh, hiding the shade, mm -hmm. but uh, uh, some activity out there. Darren's got new feature sheets going. We've got winemakers' dinners. We've got halibut on the menu. We've got all kinds of fun stuff going on. Mm -hmm. What about this halibut? Oh, the halibut, yeah. It's, uh, it's one of my actually signature dishes that we've done uh, in the past, and so we've uh, kind of reintroduced it to Hoodoo's menu. Uh, it's got, uh, got a risotto that we're going to put in the bottom. We have some veggies with it, and the halibut is going to be crusted with uh, a portobello and cream cheese topping. Steak of the sea. Absolutely. Okay, good good times. Yeah, well, we paired it up today. Obviously, our, our winemaker's dinner on, uh, on the 19th coming up is uh, from Moon Cursor. So Chris Tolley, the winemaker, will be here. Um, and we brought two award-winning wines. This one was just announced yesterday that it won the uh, gold medal from the uh, worldwide, or Decanter World, World Wine Competition. Um, and it's actually a glass pour. Uh, which is which is nice to have uh, an award-winning wine on the glass pour. So we're serving that with the red, which will pair up really nice with with the uh, the mushroom and cream cheese topping on the on the halibut. Mm -hmm. And of course, with fish, you typically want to lend yourself towards white wine. But um, I'm more of the flavor, as you well know. Drink mm -hmm. what you like. Drink what you like. There's yeah. no rules. So, uh, tell me a little bit about what is the sort of idea behind a winemaker's dinner, so that you can get to know a, a winery quite well. Yeah, what they stand for. I mean, and the, the gentleman that's inspired to make the wine. I mean, it doesn't get any any better than that. I mean, we uh, our wine club had a wine tour uh, last weekend, and you can definitely tell the difference between the hired hands to tell you about the wine as opposed to the owners and the winemakers that are actually creating the wine. Right. A uh, whole different experience. Not that either one's different or, or bad, it's just different. Um, so the winemaker will be here talking about what inspired him to make it, how he made it, how they grow it, where the terroir comes from. It's a whole different level of experience. And, and where is the, this from? Uh, right? It's in the Oliver. It's down in the South End. South End. Okay. Um, and it's Moon Cursor. It's kind of funky labels. Um, but the white wine we've chosen is uh, Afraid of the Dark. And it's a Roussan, Roussan, and a Viognier mix. And it should pair up nicely. It's got some great nose, very citrus. Mm -hmm. um, not a lot of oak, uh, which is nice. I can give you one if you'd like. That's okay. Okay. I'll bring it back. <laughs> <laughs> and you'll notice it's, it's got some very fruit forward, but it's got some bite to it as well. Right down the hatch. But exactly. <laughs> I have nothing to say about that. It's delicious is what it is. That's what I have to say. Did you taste it? I did. I gave it a little sniff first. I gave it a little, I left it a little bit warm so you get all the notes yeah. in it. Um, because the, the colder the wine, it'll tighten up the right. flavors. So it won't open up as much. So. so the idea is to not have your wine super, super cold. Because mm. my white, I like to have, and you're going to love this. I don't mind putting an ice cube in it. That's okay. Um, again, drink what you like. Right. And that's a big part yes. of it. I mean, they've even got the, the corksicles now that go in the glass to keep it cold. But, right. Um, in my house, wine doesn't stick around long enough to get warm. I know. So. <laughs> Me but too. But this will pair up nicely. If you want to try the, uh, the, uh, the, the, what's that, the artichoke lemon dip, um, which I is a new on the feature will. sheet. It's very light. Um, very works really, really well with this this wine as well because of the uh, the citrus aftertite aftertones. Wow, is that beautiful? That yeah. is delicious. Lemon. Very, very nice. Compliments the wine. Um, mm -hmm. Here, we'll put that there so you don't have to finish the whole thing. Thank you. Mm -hmm. And then I'll give you a little more wine, but you finished yours already. So let's pour the red. This is a very interesting, um, it's a Syrah. Mm -hmm. And again, that just won the gold medal at the World uh, Decanter World Wine Competition. Mm -hmm. um, very excited. The tweet just came through about, uh, about four hours ago. Um, so I grabbed a bottle and brought it out. It is a glass bar at Hooters, which is a very interesting program. Now that it's an award winner, will it suddenly be more expensive to buy in a liquor store? Yeah, I don't think so. I mean, it's already out there. Mm -hmm. It's already in the market. Um, as it winds down and, and the vintage starts to... Then uh, it goes up. It, then it'll go up a little bit. Mm -hmm. um, it's usually the ones that you get to see where they haven't released it yet. Mm -hmm. And then they get the award, then sometimes they sneak it up a little bit on mm -hmm. you. But, uh, so let me finish this one so I can catch up. Okay. <laughs> It wasn't that much. I know, it was just a little bit. Yeah, <laughs> absolutely. Darren's got his lemon broth. I can smell the lemon broth from here. I know, it smell here. delish. Yeah, it's got a little bit of a, uh, with the halibut there, we've got the risotto on the bottom. And we've got the veggies, which are sauteed in a little bit of uh, lemongrass broth, which then we use in the in the bowl. And then what I'm just going to finish it off with is just a little bit of this portobello cream cheese mixture on top. Mm -hmm. And that'll just finish it up nicely. It makes the dish very open to all different flavors of wine, from white wines, dries, to, to full 
the full-bodied reds, even a little nice rosé might be nice. The misconduct rosé would go really well with this as well. Are we saving this for the halibut? Yeah, this will go really well. Um, it'll tear up just because of the mushroom ragu. Um, it'll really tear up really nice with it. With it. it complements, not bites it. Whereas the, uh, mm. the Afraid of the Dark will bite that a little bit right. and take it away. Mm -hmm. So there's two ways of obviously pairing wines. One that'll, and Darren does it with food as well, mm -hmm. complement it or bite it and sort of take some of that richness away. Mm -hmm. So either way works. Fantastic. Should we bite into this? Absolutely. And I'll okay. talk a little bit about our winemaker sooner. So Please do. On the 19th, Darren's got a four course meal happening. Mm -hmm. um, but get started, we're going to start off with a little bit of bubble. Um, every Wednesday at uh, Hoodoo's, it's uh, Baby Bella Day. Um, so we yeah. put our Baby Bella champagne or sparkling wine on, on, on special. Uh, we, we feature the Chardonnay as well as the Gamay Noir. Um, it's a great, great wine. Local BC winery as well. Um, and it's kind of, I mean, we've opened it a couple of times here. Yes. The halibut is delicious. Nice, isn't it? This, I think the, the halibut is excellent, but this on the top is... This adds to it. It's a lovely finisher. Yeah. It's delicious. Wow. Well, that's a great one. Mm -hmm. It's got a little bit of leather. Uh, a little bit of tobacco, a little bit of black pepper spice, um, but not really heavy on your palate. Mm -hmm. All right, just enough to if you're a really bold, like I call them, uh, punch in the face reds, um, you can drink that as well. But if yeah. you're a, more of a lighter Pinot Noir type fan, um, this this wine goes well as well. So it's nice to have somebody who will compliment. Say you can compliment a red wine with a halibut because oftentimes you're going to hear with a white fish, you should be drinking a white wine, um, and that is a lovely combination. And that yep. is delicious, Darren. Thank you. Thank, Thank you, you very much. much. And don't Excellent. be afraid to try everything. I mean, mm -hmm. uh, one of my favorites is uh, to break open that misconduct rosé with a big steak and a spicy barbecue sauce. Mm. One of my favorites. But you don't have to drink it with a pinky out either. No, you don't no. have to. <laughs> no. uh, so a new wine, a new uh, menu right now, a fresh sheet, everything's yeah, uh, halibut on it. How long does it last for? It's the summer? Or? No, it's, uh, we change them on a monthly basis. Okay. So we have about a month. We just started on Tuesday, so we have about a month to, for everyone to come in and try the halibut. Fast and Furious. It's delicious. I highly recommend it. Mm. He's got a BLT on there that's a uh, California inspired BLT. I think we've, all, we've been one day now. I've had three of them. Really? So, yeah. Nice. Yeah. Nicely done. Mm -hmm. You guys, it's always a pleasure to have you on. Thank it's you very much for cooking this uh, and the appetizer. Delicious. The wine, fantastic. Cheers. Cheers indeed. If you would like to appear. Wait for or, it. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> it's looking at Rob LaRock at Sun Rivers. There's your direct email, maybe. Nice. Uh, email yeah, me. Absolutely. Love to have a chat and conversation. Absolutely. Phone number's right, though, as well. If you'd like to make a <laughs> reservation, we're back in two minutes.